All right, today we are gonna make sumimono. As anyone who gardens knows, one cucumber plant will give you more cucumbers than you can possibly eat. Enough to feed the whole neighborhood, which is what we've been doing. <laughs> but we do try and use as many as we can, and uh, this is uh, another in our ongoing series of things you can do with cucumbers. Uh, I have this uh, gizmo here set up to cut really thin. So I'm gonna get these nice little thin slices. I'm using the young cucumbers, so they don't, they're not gonna have you know, a large amount of seeds in the center that'll just fall out. So I'm just gonna... I can never watch. Take all these through the mandolin. And uh, I suppose this is gonna be really boring unless I cut an appendage off or something, which I don't no. plan to do, so. We'll come back. All right, so here's our pile of cucumber slices. Put those in a bowl. They just come out so nicely when you use the mandolin. And really, if you're gonna use the mandolin a lot, I would suggest that you have a cut-proof glove that you use. Yeah. We don't have one. Yeah, that's why I don't watch when you do I it. I wonder about the oyster knife glove. Oh yeah, probably. Here, I need to move these a little. So then, coming over here, we are going to make our dressing. It's going to have three tablespoons of rice wine vinegar. And a half a teaspoon each of salt and tamari, you can use uh, soy sauce. However, tamari is gluten-free. <clears throat> and it serves the same function as soy sauce. I wonder if it's less salty, I haven't really tested it. it might be a little less salty, which also wouldn't be bad. Um, and then we're gonna use a teaspoon of sugar And we're going to mix this quite well. Get our cute little baby whisk. Yummy. Okay, and we just pour this over our cucumbers. Voila. So mix a little. Those are nice, fresh looking cucumbers, that's for sure. They were just picked 10 minutes ago. Very vibrant. Okay, now we're going to add to this one teaspoon of sesame seed. Just sprinkle them on there, we'll mix a little. And, uh, and then this whole concoction is gonna sit for at least an hour. <clears throat> and with these nice fresh cucumbers. There's going to be some water that comes out of them and collects in the bottom. So when you get done and you're ready to serve it, mix it again. But there we have it. Here we have our cinnamon. A little uh, taste of a Japanese restaurant. <laughs> so uh, thanks for watching Two Cooks in the Kitchen. Subscribe and you'll see all of our videos and uh, we'll see you next time.